<laughs> oh, the sexy girl. Some blow out. Fuck me. All right. Hello. Thank you, Wadey, for the. Jeez, seven months already. Jeez. Thank you so much. Um, while we're waiting for everyone. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Hello, welcome. Okay, so there's gonna be a command um for the stream. So it's um let me type it in for you. It's podcast. So if anyone comes in and is asking what we're doing, it's this. Um, so the stream is going to be uploaded onto YouTube, so don't worry if you miss the stream, it's going to be up on YouTube when the release of this will come out, which will be November. Because <laughs> I have already recorded five episodes ahead already, so um, yeah, hopefully that's going to work out. Um, it, we're also going to do a live Q and A at the end, um, well, if people have questions. If not, no hassle. Um, and obviously, today's stream has been sponsored by the Udi, hence why I'm wearing it. So, if you do want a early Christmas present, uh, you can get thirty percent off your order with my code. And that's really it. Um, podcast, baby. Hi, sugar. So, I, I won't be reading the chat, but I'll have it on my screen just in case, but my moderators- <laughs> Fuck me! Hello there. <laughs> I can't do this when I'm recording, when I get- Oh! Hey! What's up? Cat, how are you? It's podcast command, the one you're using- You want- Yes, please, waity, if you can. Um, is my mic too loud for everyone? Let me know if it's too loud, I will, um... Turn it down. By the way, the song that is playing, it's a uh, Bismomorph and our Canodo. I can never say it. And Neoni. It's called Army. It's the podcast song. Mike's good. Cool. Uh, turn off your list. How would I? I yeah. I I'm, I'm still doing that. I think it's on. It's on. Oh. I don't know how to turn them off from but anyway I have to turn off this camera but uh, also sugar and weighty you are editors so if anything has to be edited you can fix that better. copyright sugar I can't copyright okay so I'm gonna turn off my camera we're going to podcast mode and um, so I'll put my webcam on then there with Karki so see in a few Sure, come on. If not, I'll just turn off my other camera. Slowly. Yeah, copyrights, everything. Okay, it's not coming up. Great. Just turn off my other camera. <laughs> this worked earlier, I swear. One second. Okay, rude. I think I might just uh, sugar. I am, um, but I can't be here one hundred percent. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, way deep, bless you. Um, no hassle. I'll. No butter, boy. No the butter. Not a butter. Um. Uh, 
As you can tell, I'm still trying to figure this out. I'll turn- I'll remove all of them. Bear with me. Thank you for the- Oh, baby, thank you. Um, oh yeah, there it is. I oh, know it's not. Okay, I think I've I've started it. Yeah. Haven't I? Yes. Okay, alright, I'll turn it off, turn it back on. Chroma. Turn on camera. For some reason I don't honestly know why it was working beforehand. Um mm -hmm. geez. Th Weedy, thank you so much. Oh gosh. Media source. Turned all of them off, right? There's no more. Cameras. Oh yeah, there it is. Fuck's sake. Remove. Right, there we go. There we go, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Took me a second, sorry. There we go. Hey. Okay, Cleric E, you can put yours on as well. If you can hear me. No, I forgot to unmute. That's it. We in? We're in! Can everyone see us though? That's the question. Chat, let us know. Hi! Hi! <laughs> this is so cool! I am like, I'm, so I'm like opposite the opposite way to what I'm, I am on my OBS and I'm like, I've got you on my TV here and this yeah. is... I this think we can weird. move. I can. Uh, actually, no, I can't. Oh no, I no, I can't. Shoot. We good. I'm good. Okay, dokie. Yeah, perfect. Wait, cool, cool. Um, so I'll start recording. So chat, you're gonna hear a bot. I was explaining this to Clarky. Uh, the bot's called Craig. Hi, Craig. So, <laughs> once you hear him. Just say hello. Now recording. Oh, Hi, I didn't. Craig. I didn't know he was going to be in the screen with us. Oh well. You can chill. Oh well. You can. It's all right. All right, Sugar. So, chat. If you don't know who Clarky is, Clarky, introduce yourself to everyone. Hi, I'm Clarky. I'm 28, and I suck at cod. Woohoo! <laughs> I mean that's one way. Uh, where in England are you? <laughs> where in England are you based? So I currently live in the southwest. I grew up in the East Midlands, though. Um, I've lived in Newcastle. I've pretty much lived in many places in the UK. The northeast is by far my favourite. And for anyone who doesn't know, you are also in the military. Yes, I am. Hence, the I've lived not nearly everywhere, but. A lot of places within the UK. What What do you are you allowed to say? What you do in the army? I'm in the artillery, so I basically I'm yeah. Hello there. I play with like bombs and stuff. Oh, I don't play with them. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't literally play with bombs. It's a figure of speech. Mm -hmm. Figured. Uh, <laughs> how did you get into streaming and gaming? Um, so pretty much like everyone else during the first lockdown when we had nothing, nothing else to do, I stumbled across Twitch. Um, that was because of Alex Zedra. I don't know if anyone knows who she is, but I followed her on Instagram and she posted a story like, hey, I'm live on Twitch. And I was like, what the fuck is Twitch? Um, so I, I clicked the link and then obviously it, it, it brought me to her stream and I was like okay okay this is pretty cool and i got to following her and then i explored a bit um followed that ginger girl and it it, it pretty much just started from there i was a viewer for a, a long time until like december last year and then i decided that i wanted to stream myself and here we are seven months later that it sounds crazy to think it's seven months already yeah because like i've been following you since january or I think we like started that. streaming like at the around the same time. Didn't yeah. We? Well, you see, I got into yeah. streaming because of you. 
Oh, okay. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> for, anyone <I> who, <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know, what games do you stream usually? Um, Call of Duty, mainly. That is the main one. Uh, more multiplayer rather than Warzone. I do stream Warzone on the odd occasion. And because it's spooky season, I have ventured into playing Visage. Now, I don't do horror and I don't do scary. Yeah. I am like the biggest wimp on the planet and I don't like ghosts and stuff. So for me to be playing a game like that, yeah, my mods and my viewers make me pay for it. Hence why you changed it to bits instead of channel points. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> um, a little bit. So what has been the most memorable moments you remember from your first few months of streaming? Oh my god. Um, I think the first sub, like the first sub you'll never forget. I, st I still remember mine. Um, Hasty, one of my mods was my first ever sub. Um, and I think my first 24 hour stream that was emotional. We raised so much money and so many people turned up and yeah, it was pretty much consistent throughout the whole thing. And I thought that there was going to be hours where I was on my own and I wasn't, there was people that stayed up with me for the whole 24 hours. And that was kind of just like surreal for me to think that people wanted to do that. So yeah, that was definitely a highlight. What has been your favorite highlight from your stream altogether? My favorite highlight. Oh my God. Uh, there's so many like that. I've had so many fun times. Oh, if I had to pick one, the last 24 hour stream that I did was for a mental health charity. And I think I had like six or seven people come on with me and, and talk me through, through their mental health issues in the past. And then I don't know, it kind of just opened my eyes a little bit more and we raised so much money um, for a mental health charity. And I, at the end, I, I don't know why, but I felt more emotional than I did during the first one. Mm -hmm. And that was, yeah, I think that happy emotions, like happy tears, good tears. And the charity was, was mined, crazy. right? Yes, yes, it, yes, it was mined, yeah. Uh, what's your process and planning for your streams and your socials? <laughs> I, I was dreading <laughs> this question. <laughs> I, I was literally, I I wing it. I I just wing it so much. Like my stream schedule stays consistent. So I stream on a Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Sunday is always community day. Thursday is always ladies' night. Tuesday, I it it just depends what I feel like on the day. Mm -hmm. And I am literally so bad with social media. So Instagram. I don't ever take selfies, so I never have content for Instagram. Never put on my story. I only ever post on my story that I'm like, I don't know why anyone follows me, to be honest. Twitter is kind of like spontaneous thoughts and feelings. Like, I think I posted the other day that I was a whore for iced coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who isn't? Like, True. <laughs> if people aren't a whore for iced coffee, I don't want to know. Um, and then TikTok. TikTok takes a little bit more planning, but that kind of comes with... I wing that in the sense of if anything kind of like really makes me laugh on stream or gets chat talking mm -hmm. on stream, then I will turn that into a clip and put it on TikTok. But there's, I don't really, I don't really plan much. I probably should start doing that. But your TikToks are very well, like well made and like they're obviously, they do very well. Thank you. Yeah. I don't, I guess I'm just self-critical. I don't feel like, I don't know. I'm my own worst enemy, honestly. Yeah. What was your first video game when you ever played? My first video game I ever played. Are we talking console or before that? It can be whatever. Whatever you had, your first memory. I mean, who didn't play Tetris on a Game Boy, right? I didn't have a Game Boy till I was 11. I think I think it had to be a Game Boy, but then I, can't, I moved on to the DS and played Nintendogs because... Memories. Yeah. Yeah. Um, console, my first ever game. I think was Need for Speed Underground 2. Okay, that's cool. No, that's a good game. Yeah. I was like a, a hardcore car gamer when I was younger. What's I should maybe get that into back because that yeah, kind of stresses me out. 
You should, because like car, car, like car streams are doing so well. I mean, the F one, yeah. but don't, to be fair, most people who are streaming them have the equipment. Like they have the steering wheel, they have the pedals, they have the gears, yeah, all that. But I mean, you should give it a go. Maybe, maybe, maybe one for the future. Who's your favorite game character? My favorite game character. You can have more than one. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of like every game that I've ever played. Spyro, because he was just absolutely awesome. Crash Bandicoot as well. Oh my god, no. The little, you know, the little mask, I can't remember his name. But it literally goes, ooga booga. And like, you, you. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> know who it is but i, I if you i'm play for... crash bandicoot right no <laughs> i'm the one Daddy. person i i i know I, I don't have it or ever played it let me get a picture let me get a picture i can't remember his name i am i am i am literally googling ooga booga man from crash bandicoot i'm a terrible person i had like my first game was lower croft and my dad's my dad had an old computer game of Lara Croft, so that was uh, early 2000s. And that was my one. It had a joystick as well, so that's my one. Was it? Was that the one where you had to do like the obstacle course? Yeah. Uh, out the back of the map? Oh, mm -hmm. what a game. What a game. Here you go, this guy. Oh, what? Well, come on. Picture. This guy. Oh, wait. Can you see that? No, if you go more left... Turn my brightness down. That might help. Oh yes, yes, I I recognise yeah. him. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, this guy. That guy. Uh, what's a popular game that everyone seems to love but you don't? But no spoilers. <laughs> Shay. <laughs> Shay, I mean, and I, I, I mean nothing, nothing against your content here, but Fortnite, I. <laughs> Whoa. No shade. I hate Fortnite purely because I am absolutely trash at it, and mm -hmm. I I don't I can't put the I can't put the tape the the I tried it, but I just couldn't get along with it. And yeah, it's the building for me. I can't stick the building. I can. I can't. It's so difficult. I was watching. So like in Ireland, we had a um, there was a shop called Irish no game. Gamerstore.ie, they held a, a Fortnite trios contest and I think they were all kids playing, but the mad skill of like building is yeah. the speed of them is like just to edit as well, it's mad. Insane. Yeah, no. But um no. It I literally mean, took me mm -hmm. like five minutes to build a wall and I'm like, no, yeah, no. I'm not I'm not I'm not made for this game. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, if you could live in the world of the last game you played, what world would that be? Warzone. Rebirth, specifically. I mean, would you last very long, though? Well, I don't know. I can shoot a gun, so... True. But once everyone's dead, what are you going to do then? I don't know. Try and swim to shore, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> are there boats? There's I'd helicopters. Steal a yeah, steal a chopper. I'd steal a chopper. Mm. I'd probably crash it, but I'd steal a chopper. If you could delete one video game forever, what would it be? Oh. I'm sending all probably. these hard questions, by the way. I'm sorry for anyone who have answered them very pleased for actually mm. having an answer. <laughs> if I could delete one game, probably Visage, so my community wouldn't like force me to play it anymore. <laughs> I mean, true. True. Uh, do you think PC gamers are superior over the console players? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I think PC is better in aspects of um, maybe like game features or graphics or anything. Like FOV is a big one for me. I don't. I still don't understand why I haven't got FOV on a console. Um, but in regards to like control and I'm specifically talking like Warzone and Call of Duty here. When it comes to like aim and whatnot, it's so it it must be so much easier on a mouse and keyboard. I haven't even played on a mouse and keyboard, so I could not, I couldn't distinguish or mm -hmm. or like compare. But 
obviously you see stuff on TikTok and you see stuff on Twitter and there's always this age. It's like the Xbox and PlayStation argument has now turned into PC versus console. And that it's always going to be that, well, our console's yeah. better, but well, our PC's better. I mean, that. you can get like a PC and then you can get a controller then. So you can still yeah, be that, technically yeah. called a console in a way. But I see what you mean. Like, you know, obviously I, I was playing Counter-Strike yesterday. I haven't yeah. played that in yonks. And like it's so inaccurate the shooting compared to like Call of Duty and that is yeah hard to play it anymore. I was like, okay, I can see why I gave that game up. And I'm yeah. so I, <laughs> it, it's just the aim precise. Everyone gets headshots, and I'm just trying to still shoot at them, and they just I die constantly. So it's like no point of playing yeah. it anymore. Compared to like Call of Duty, I can actually get a kill. Yeah. So. Who knows? But here's the serious question. What needs to be done by gaming companies and streaming networks like Twitch for female streamers? As since you are a female streamer yourself. Um, I think I think the main thing is just exposure for girl streamers and girl gamers. Um I've seen it quite a lot when one I've when I've loaded up Twitch on my laptop, for example, the front page has had recently quite a lot of female streamers and i love to see that and i think it's just education like these gaming orgs and, and gaming companies have, have got to kind of advertise the fact that girls game too and girls stream too and some of the biggest female streamers they they pull in like more money than some of the guys like it's it's an equal world now and I, I don't know, people like FaZe picking up Kaylee, like that was a huge thing, but the Twitter comments, nah. FaZe have got to like, in my eyes, FaZe in that situation have to have to say something to defend their new recruit, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see any comeback from FaZe or that. And if they don't do that, then they're just going to keep coming. But it's, when it's did she thing. sign to FaZe? Was it this year or was it the year? Yeah, yeah, it was a couple of months back now. So it was very recent. I never heard of her, to be honest, which sounds bad. She's a she's a very, very good Warzone player. Okay. Very good Warzone. And she always wanted to be in phase, and then she got in phase, and literally every, every male on Twitter started slamming it and slaying her. And yeah, it wasn't fair. Like, she's just been signed for one of the biggest gaming and streaming orgs on the planet. Like, why are you still? It's a, it's a it's a tough subject to talk about because I'm I'm trying not to say like the wrong thing. I know that not everybody is unaccepting of females in the gaming space, mm -hmm. um, but the majority of the males out there, it's their area and we've invaded and it's not their safe space anymore. But why can't we share it? It it should be fifty fifty, really. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, if you think about it, obviously, because we're both women, and you know, we have obviously had comments by people in game and on stream. You know, we yeah. shouldn't stream or play. Um, how do you cope with that? Oh, I just I I brush it off. Me, I tell them that I don't know. It's it, it kind of comes in the moment, but I will I will give as much talk as I get. Let me just say that. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. I mean, if someone comes up and says, um, go back to the kitchen or you can't shoot or whatever, I say, how's your dad doing? Oh, yeah. 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 Those comments, yeah. Like, but what can you do? Uh, what have you learned from your mistakes creating uh, on Twitch and content creation? Always make sure that you back on before you go live. I double check yeah. literally every single time now because the amount of times that I've gone live and my mic is muted, damn. Um, mm -hmm. and sometimes when I've watched the street, watch streams, but obviously playing cards, you're very used. I'm very used to having that toxic mindset and growing out of a toxic mindset on COD has been a long process. I want to say so sometimes watching the VODs back, I've said things and I'm like, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm like desperately trying to maybe not be 
you never know who's who's watching your vods basically you never know who's in the stream at the time unless you check like mm -hmm. i don't check you never know who's visiting your channel and watching your vods so you've you've genuinely got to be careful about what you say and the content you put out there and how it makes you look um and yeah i've 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 been very mindful of that recently i think and so like if anyone knew was starting the stream would you have any advice for them if anyone was starting to stream yeah okay from, like from the beginning um, oh get on get on social media just get on social media tiktok used used to be amazing tiktok used to be great um tiktok has got really really difficult and i've felt i have felt that i'm sure you have as well a lot of content creators have felt it um instagram reels is on the porsche youtube shorts that is an absolute that i've seen people skyrocket on that um and just enjoy enjoy the ride as much as you possibly can there's going to be ups and downs like your views will be down you Everything will be down. People might not turn up to chat. You've just got to keep going and keep pushing out your content and, and keep that vibe up whilst you're streaming. Um, yeah, it's a grind. Networking's another thing. Uh, I did a lot, a lot of networking. I've got really bad at it lately, but I've been focusing more on content. Networking's another thing. Um, trying to think something else. No, I think that's pretty much it. Networking, social media, good vibes only. Invest in your equipment too. Investing in your equipment. Yeah, because like I have your microphone still. The snowball. My what? Your microphone. Oh yeah. I still have it. Yeah. Snowball. I have yeah. it. It's my like uh, compared because I've upgraded now, but like I still have it yeah. just in case. Um, moderations like moderators. If you had yeah. any, how would you choose your moderators? Uh, my moderators are basically. Probably the best friends that I've made like online, and they were very, they were with me from the start. Um, and basically, after playing with them and building my trust up with them, I, I I'd ask if they wanted to be moderators. So you like your moderators can't just be anybody; they've got to be someone that you vibe with, and someone that you get along with, and someone that you trust, and they trust you, and you have to have that connectivity and that relationship with them um so yeah i wouldn't recommend just picking anybody as your moderators it's got to be someone that is happy to be in your channel and mm -hmm. wants to be in your channel otherwise how are they going to moderate it's uh, like a question i've just thought of now because like you have customs on sundays what's like the hardest thing to actually host the customs is it like the numbers or the people who aren't following the rules what do you think uh recently it's been numbers recently i i with everything that's going on with Call of Duty right now, I, I think that a lot of people have just stopped playing. Um, and then it's people... People have been generally good at following the rules. I don't really have to... It, if, if they miss the rules, it's because they haven't got stream open, which mm -hmm. is fine because some people don't have stream open. They don't want to be accused of stream sniping. Um, the hardest thing... Hmm... I wouldn't even say I had it then. I had it like right in my head and it's just gone. That'll come back to me, I think. I think I remember Frag's birthday, you did the customs and you did the red yeah. light, green light. That was hard. Cause, like, that was just carnage. <laughs> one but is again, yeah, communication. We'd um we'd not tried that. We hadn't tried that before. We'd we'd not had a chance to try it. So everything within those games were literally brand new. Mm -hmm. And me, myself, AJ, and Mr. Pitbull didn't even have a clue how we were going to run it. So, um, yeah, that was that was like a, a test and try. I think it worked out quite well for yeah for the experience that we had with it. Apart from Destiny killing me twice. <laughs> I mean, I won it, so I can't say much. Yeah, you did good. Yeah, yeah. So. listening is key, as I say. Uh, what's the plan with your stream for the future? Any future goals? Absolutely. I mean, I ever since I started streaming, I, I've literally I've just fell in love with it, and I want to take it as high as I possibly can. Obviously, hitting partner is the ultimate goal. I'm not sure. I'm going to do my utmost best to get there. 
Um, I just need to find the time to be able to put in to my content and what whatnot for that. At the moment, I'm I'm pretty happy though. I'm on track to hit all my goals this year, and I think next year will be the big partner push. Mm-hmm. I don't. I I hate that term. <laughs> You can't not use it. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, your Twitter, your what's a pinned tweet is about you being part- trying to get for partnership. Yeah. Just to remember. Yeah. Um, if you were talking to yourself again, uh, what advice would you give who's just going to start streaming? Mm-hmm. So think if you're talking to Clarky back in last December. Um. Oh, God. Oh, what would I? Oh my god, I. I would tell myself not to get down about the numbers, because I have. Times many, I've I've done that to myself, and it's affected my content. Um. Just enjoy the ride, like I say, enjoy every single minute. I have enjoyed every single minute, but again, I am very self-critical, and I have like arguments with myself all the time about my streaming, um, and. Stay motivated. There has been, I've, again, in my head where I've lost motivation and I've just hit a content block, really. Uh, I would try and talk myself out of that, I guess. Uh, for anyone in the chat who's watching, uh, if you want to send in your questions to Clarky or myself, you can send them now and we'll go through them there. No pressure. If there's no questions, it's okay. Um but the final question really from the podcast is would we be going to TwitchCon in Amsterdam next year? Oh yeah. I'm gonna try and arrange like a big nerds meetup. So if, if you're if you're one of my nerds, then you are wholeheartedly invited to TwitchCon in Amsterdam next year. I was saying it to someone um that it's probably there's a, a convention center in Amsterdam that's about like it would host about 12,900 people. That's probably they're going to be the place. So obviously Holy. the tickets are going to run out fast. So we have to be fairly yeah. quick. Um, yeah. But also, who is your favourite streamers out there? Who My favourite streamers? Mm-hmm. That ginger girl. She is... She just makes me so happy. So happy when I go in her streams. Um Marie Angel, because she is an absolute deathly sniper. Uh, Alex Zedra, because she drives cat, to- cat. Oh my god, she drives tanks and shoots guns in real life. And then my favorite small streamers, um, hundred percent you, Shay. I love your streams. I know I like I lurk half of the time. Mrs P, she's she makes me laugh so fucking much. And then one of my mods recently started streaming, and I just adore watching her streams, which is Miss Swifty Till. Shout out to Swifty and Mrs. P. Shout out to Swifty and Mrs. P. Um, and Shay Lano. No. <laughs> Please don't. Hell yeah. Get uh, it. Um, I don't know if that's a question, Van Vesh. Um, it said, how do you get out of funk? How do you get out of a funk? Do you mean like a, a content block or something like that? Where he, you're not he didn't specify. Stuff? He didn't specify. But we can come back to that question when he comes back to us. Um, oh, yeah, content block, he said. A content block. Okay, so the way that I did it, I, um, you know, there's no pressure on you. I know that everybody says to win the TikTok algorithm, you've got to post three times a day and everything like that. Like, Don't put too much pressure on yourself to post every day. I've took that pressure off of my shoulders post every day and if i don't have content then i don't have content and that's absolutely fine if there's no content for you that you want to make then there's no point in making content Mm -hmm. don't make content that you don't want to make if you make content that you enjoy making then it will reflect in your content as such uh james asks do you think warzone is the way to grow on twitch i don't think it really matters what game you play on twitch Obviously, Warzone has got a lot of exposure. Warzone has got a lot of exposure. But then again, most of the big streamers that I watch play Warzone. But I've only found them through Warzone as well. So I think as long as you are providing content on other social media platforms, it doesn't really matter what game you play because those content 
those social media platforms will enable you to find the people that want you to watch the game that you're playing or want to watch you. Uh, Cash asks, how do you gain the confidence with yourself to start streaming and keep going? Mainly that's come from my chat and the people that turn up every single day. I feel like if I don't stream anymore or if I miss a stream, then I am letting a ton of people down. Um, so that kind of motivates me to keep going. It wasn't like that in the start. The first stream was absolutely terrifying, but then again and again, people kept turning up and my, my confidence just built that way. And it's, it's almost second nature to me now. Uh, Swifty asks, do you think you will make the full transition over to the new Call of Duty? Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm skeptical. Like I want to give it a chance and I am going to give it a chance. Yeah. But Modern Warfare has got a special, special place in my heart and it's going to take a lot and a very good game to take me away from it. But I'm excited. I'm excited about Vanguard and I'm, I'm going to give it the, the best chance to, uh, deal me away from Modern Warfare. And you you streamed it as well the the beta test. I did. What was your thoughts on that? Uh, the sounds. It was a good game. I thought I liked that they kept the Modern Warfare engine. Uh, the Cold War one I thought was awful. So I liked that they kept the Modern Warfare engine. Uh, I thought the graphics were great. Um, the only thing, really, for me was the sound and how everything sounded like. I couldn't hear people creeping on me. I couldn't hear footsteps that was like right next to me. Um, so I hope that they fixed that. Uh, the sun as well. There was a lot of glare from the sun. So I hope that they fix that too. London asks, what do you, <laughs> what are you going to do when Modern Warfare is no longer has support and forces you to move? Well, I don't believe that it will force me to move because the people that turn up to my stream, I would hope, turn up for me and not the game that I'm playing. Fair enough. Um, while we're waiting for a few more questions, um, Xbox or PlayStation? So, uh, I have always been Xbox, always, throughout my whole life. I had the first Xbox, I had the Xbox 360, and then I had the Xbox One S. Recently, however, some settings have been changed and now game chat does not come through my uh, my stream even with a capture card. So I am now seriously, seriously considering the move to PlayStation. Like, seriously. And there is a lot more games. Like, yeah, Halo is coming out on Xbox, but Spider-Man is coming out on PlayStation. Like, who doesn't want to play Spider-Man? Uh, London said, uh, I meant from the game standpoint, not the stream, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I think if it's, if it's not for the stream, then I don't know. There's, there's, let me try and word this. So if it's not being, I don't, people don't, I don't get support when I'm playing off stream, you know, is it, are you saying like, um, if no one's playing it anymore, how am I going to find like joy in still playing it? I don't know. I mean, I could see <laughs> if there's only a certain amount of people there. I mean, you just be regulars playing each other against each other, really. Yeah. Until they really make the force. But I highly doubt that's going to happen. Um, Kat asks, what equipment would you recommend for a startup streamer? Um, if your console, a capture card, 100%, uh, some kind of either, excuse me, um, I use a gaming laptop to put my capture card through and that, that manages my stream pretty well. Uh, a microphone, either a blue snowball. This is the one that I started with. Hopefully I'm, I'm upgrading soon. So I'm excited about that. A ring light and a webcam. That is genuinely all you need. If you've got a PlayStation though, you can, you can. You can just do it with a webcam um, and your PlayStation, so easy enough. James, Xbox, well, it's a little bit more expensive. James said, "Get a gaming PC, so much more to do." And then London said, "I meant what Activision and support for Modern Warfare, not the support she receives on stream." 
sustainable and um so in a sense i feel like activision has ended support for modern warfare already um there's there's not been any new content for modern warfare in a while i feel uh there's the last new weapon was god i can't even remember uh the psychov i think um so that was a while ago now yeah i i, I think that the the support for modern warfare has already ended so that's and i i'm still playing it so i think that's what's your ultimate loadout ultimate loadout are we talking multiplayer or warzone multiplayer multiplayer ax15 hdr or okay uh, oh i don't know because i'm a sniper like are we talking a normal game of team deathmatch or snd 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 double snipes x15 hdr or the mp5 if i get annoyed <laughs> uh what's your thoughts on hackers i personally i mean don't get me wrong hacking should not happen activision should have done more to stop this sooner but i kind of get it because some of them some of them hack because it's the only way that they can win because there are so many hackers in the game they're basically fighting fire with fire yeah it's not the right way to do it but they're fighting fire with fire so i i i understand to a degree but it shouldn't happen and activision should have done more about it sooner um who's asked yeah Vaughn has asked what's the one project or game you're looking forward to for the stream or just in general gaming there's an avatar game being released and i am genuinely itching to get my hands on it as in like the avatar like the movie that was made in 2009 yeah oh no I'll yes pass. do you not like that film no what mm, i don't like avatar that is very surprising to me. Yeah, I don't know. I never got into it when I was when it came out in cinema. I never watched it. Didn't bother properly watching it. I just if it's on TV and during Christmas, I just skip it. Oh no! One second, our bot left. How dare Damn, you? Damn bot! Craig, this God damn it! This happened in the very first episode as well. So why? Okay. Now recording. Damn you. <laughs> anyway. Uh. Someone said, oh, uh, James said, what's about the new Ghost Recon Battle Royale? Did you try that? Um, I've never played Ghost Recon. So I, I don't feel like I could provide the hype for that that everyone wants. And I'm not too sure that I will play it. I've never played Ghost Recon before, so I might check it out. It's called The Frontiers of Pandora. It's an open world RPG. For... Yes. Okay. Um, Very excited. Swifty says, after the most recent choosy spooky streams, would you consider doing more horror games? Uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, I, I'm. I'm not too sure about that. I've. I've played Visage purely because it's spooky season. Um, and I, I want to get a little bit Halloweeny, um, but I'm a I'm a firm believer in the fact that you have to earn the right to be a variety streamer, and I don't feel like I am at that point just yet. Fair enough. Um, what other games would you be playing if they come out? Would you be trying out the new Battlefield when it comes out? See that's another game that i've honestly never played um yeah. if i i was meant to get on the beta and i i uh just to give it a go basically i might download one of the older ones to give it a try i um i don't really want to spend 70 pounds on a game that i've never played before and then learn that i hate it yeah it's a cold war fair enough um do you support any esports teams I don't really watch the esports. I obviously I see their content creators and whatnot on TikTok and and I support them that way. But I don't really get involved in like the CDL mm -hmm. world, if you will, as such. What was uh, your initial thought when you played with um, Sweet Tales in her customs? Oh my god, I remember that. So 
I was just literally minding my own business, and I uh, I thought, oh, Tells is doing customs. I'm I'm gonna go and jump in, and I I joined a random squad, and I didn't know that she random filled. Uh, so I was just I was just chilling and then I looked at the team, the squad sheet, and she was in my team and I literally was like Holy fuck, I'm about to play with sweet tails. I was like, you've gotta keep cool, you've gotta keep cool, you've gotta keep cool. I was like my inside was like screaming. So fucking cool. She's so down to earth. I love her to bits. Uh Fawn asks, is there any game you play um as a guilty pleasure? I went through a phase of playing Minecraft, like a lot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this was when COD was getting really, really stressful, and we were all feeling it among the like the group of friends that I've made. Um, and the girls was literally like getting on at me, like, "Come play Minecraft, come play Minecraft." And I was like, "No, it's fucking, it was gay." And I was like, "No, I don't want to play Minecraft. It's stupid." Blah blah blah. I got on Minecraft, and I literally had the time of my life. It was so fun, <laughs> so relaxing, so chill. And uh, yeah, I've not done that in a while, but I would say that Minecraft is my guilty pleasure. Uh, Marvel or DC? Marvel, no questions asked. Iron Man or Captain America? Iron Man. Black Widow or Scarlet the Witch? <laughs> Why would you ask me that question? Because <laughs> I know you like both of them. Can I have both? <laughs> okay, I'll give you that one. Um, Cadbury's chocolate or Ferrero Rocher? Ferrero Rocher. I really don't like Cadbury's chocolate. <laughs> um, I don't know what kind of drinks you drink, so... Um, beer or stout? Beer. Uh, Swifty asks, how do you find the perfect balance of work, gaming, and other hobbies you have? Uh, I don't, really. I don't. I will game and game and game. I don't know my limit, so I will literally game and game and game and game until I feel myself burning out, and then I will get really mad at the game within like 10 minutes, and I'm like, yeah, I gotta go to bed because I'm tired, um, and that's when I know that I need a break from gaming, and I will go out and I will do something else, like play football or something like that. I'm really bad at like gaming too much. Mm -hmm. uh, Kat asks, what do you do to wind down after a rough day? I watch TikTok. I really shouldn't, but I watch TikTok. Like I will get in bed and I'm very guilty of being on my phone. Mm -hmm. Um I want to try and get back into reading again. Uh I'm I started reading the Harry Potter books again. Uh, I'm currently on Goblet of Fire, so yeah, I really want to get back into doing that. Who do you sport in football? Ooh, Man City women. They're not doing very well though. No. Recently. No, no they're not. No, they're not. I feel like all the, uh, all the, all the OG uh, England players when I started supporting them are, are just getting really old now, and it's. it's I time to do you know to be honest, I'm kind of like, why is um what's her name, Jill Scott? Why is she still playing for England? Yeah, in yeah, a way, it's sure. it's not really fair because like there's some other fantastic English players and they're not playing them, yeah, and they keep putting Jill Scott on. No disrespect to her or anything, but um. No, I, I agree with you there. Like Jill Scott is an outstanding football player and um I've I've watched her for nearly ten years now. Nearly ten years of the of the women's game I've watched her and I, I like I don't know one like put it on a on a spectrum here, I don't know one male England player that's played for ten years. Maybe apart from like Beckham and Rooney and, and the older guys, but mm -hmm. Yeah. Nowadays it just doesn't happen. You don't see it, so uh, London says, outside of gaming and football, what other hobbies do you have? Well, I guess you can say reading. That. Yeah, reading. I really enjoy reading when I get the chance to do it. Um, I I think now. Um, what am I doing? Listening to music. Music is literally like one of my favorite pastimes. Sometimes Who's I'll just like your my favorite bed artist. I'll, 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 my favorite artist. It depends. I have like I have so many favorite artists. Jessie J is like one of my all time, all time favorite people. Um, Adele right now she's obviously come back screaming onto the scene and it's just yeah. reignited my love for her. Um, Louis Capaldi, 
I really miss his music. I feel like he's like due an album soon. <laughs> um, Swifty says, Rachel asks, what's your favorite color? Also, hello, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. And um, my favorite color is green. Like the, like the fresh spring green when all the grass is back. Mm -hmm. Nice. I love that kind of green. Um, hi, Sean and the podcast. <laughs> um, okay. So London says, since the question was never asked on stream, um, thank you for the 10 bits, Sean, um, asked on the stream. Oh, okay. Um, asked, uh, on stream when Des asked you, let's come back around to who's your favorite mod. Nope. Not answering that question. <laughs> I don't have a favorite, guys. Come on, I don't. Genuinely, I don't. I hold you all. I hold you all equally in my heart, and I I love you all as it should. If yes, I don't have a favorite. Um, do you have a Cut favorite out. Harry Potter character from the books or the Ooh. movies? I can't choose. Swifty, I mean that's not no, nice. No, Dobby. Dobby. Uh, uh, no, Dumbledore. Uh, I know what Dumbledore. Swifty said. Yeah. I can't. It's either Dumbledore or McGonagall. I think McGonagall's cute as hell and she's sassy. Yeah. So yeah. I, I love her. Um, well, Swifty said, who's the worst mod then? Hasty, because he disappeared for like six months. He's back now, though, isn't he? He is back, and he is very well, and okay, I still good. love him dearly. That's good. We need deeds. Well, she just gave it there, Swifty. Um, I had another question there on top of my head. Oh, um, if you had an ultimate football team for the women, who would it be for? An ultimate football? You so want like, to my you? So you can pick your team. Who would represent England? Who would it be? Oh my god. Okay. Um I'm gonna need Oh uh I would go oh what's her name? Ellie 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 Roebuck in goal. Left back would be Left back. Right back right back would be Lucy Bronze. I'd have um I'm trying to think now. I'm just going to name the England starting 11. Uh, Steph Orton and... I don't know if I'd go Millie Bright or I would go... Millie Bright's not played in a while. I don't even know who our centre-backs are. We'll come back to that. Left-back, I would probably go uh, Alex Greenwood or... Leah Williamson. No, she's centre-back. I would say she can do both. I'm pretty sure she can do any. I would put Leah Williamson at centre back with Steph Orton, and then I would probably put Alex Greenwood on the left. Uh, right now, I'd probably—I don't know if I'd play a four-five-one or a four-three-three. Three. I can't eat, like every player is just escaping my head right now. Um, ultimate 11 does that count as as previous as like past players as well yeah yeah it could be an okay. ultimate team it, it can be kelly smith alex gosh okay okay so uh left no right wing rachel yankee mm -hmm. uh in the middle i'd have kelly smith and um who's our fucking central midfield now jill scott but i'm gonna say jill scott like in her prime yeah, she's kind of not now, now, but like yeah. in her prime. Uh, left wing, left wing, left wing, left wing, left wing. Who the fuck? Who's left footed? Who's left footed? My head's fried. Up top, let's come back to left wing. Up top, um, Beth. Beth, 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 England. Okay, yeah. And... 
I'm trying to think if anyone was a good striker before. Beth England's just unreal right now. Why can't we have Vivian Medema? She's unreal, to be fair. She's one of the best players in the world at the minute. Um, I think I'd probably put Fran Kirby up there. But she... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll go with Fran Kirby. And then left wing, I've either I put Nakeep Harris, but like she could swap. <laughs> either that's basically like the previous World Cup team with a few of the OGs in there. Yeah. <laughs> what What was your? Do you think like US women's national soccer team? Do you think they're too superior compete like to compare to other teams out there? Like you know, already winning too many matches. Do you think that they should maybe give another country a chance to win the women's World Cup? Um, I don't think that the US women's national team will be will be that superior forever. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think that I think that their their time will end. Uh, they just have a very good academic system when it comes to women's football. Like women's football is the sport there. It's the sport that yeah. the girls want to play. Um, not so much compared to the men's, but it is the sport, whereas like men's football is more pushed here. Women's football's getting there, but yeah, they they they're very hot on the on women's mm. soccer football over there. And what's the thoughts of Newcastle being bought by Saudi Arabia? Owners? I'm happy about it. I'm I'm genuinely like I'm looking forward to seeing what happens at Newcastle. They've been having trouble for so long with Mike Ashley, and he just. He didn't really care about the club. He just bought it to have his name on the side of it, um, basically. So, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. It can only bring new, refreshing things to the club. So, and I think as in today, the the, the manager got fired. Who was the manager? Um, oh no, yeah, Steve. Yeah, Steve. No, some, it, no Steve um, I think no, some. Steve his Bruce. name was Stephen. Um, Steve? but he took it fairly saltier, right? Um. He made a statement about, um, uh, what did he say? It was Steve Bruce sacked yeah. um, after it was £305 million pounds take over. Uh, which. I. I. But uh, it's, it's going to happen if, if the club is bringing in the results. Like, it's the manager's. It's also the player's job, but it's the manager's job if. if they're not getting the results and they're not going to blame the players. They're going to blame the manager. And yeah. Same at Arsenal. I'm surprised that Mikel Arteta hasn't been fired yet. Mm. He, uh, he said, it's been very tough. <laughs> uh, never really wanted to uh, fail. The people wanted me to fail and say I would fail that. I was useless, a fat waste of space of a tactically inept cabbage head. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's his comments about it. A tactically inept cabbage head. Yeah. Like it. Nice, nice. <laughs> um, Favourite car, dream car? My dream car, an Aston Martin DB9. Ooh. Have you seen the new James Bond? I haven't, yeah. I haven't no. either. I'm such a bad person. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just literally. I've been doing like the whole past two weeks. I was like, even though it came out, it was like, okay, I'm doing the podcast. I'm going yeah. away. I haven't. I've been literally concentrating on the podcast the last four days. So, yeah. uh, and then that someone in the chat said, "Where was where was I?" That's why I was away in Dublin and I'm back. But I was doing the podcast, so this is technically a stream. So, um. Oh, yeah. If, who, if you had an ultimate uh, war zone battle royale team, who would it be? Oh my god! Um, ultimate. Mm-hmm. Do you know what? I'm gonna be like really corny here, and I'm just gonna say Swifty, Shiny, and Des because we work the best together, and we have the most fun, and we get the most wins together. And I just, I fucking love playing with them. And you have your moderators meet up soon, isn't that right? Yes, I do in nine days. Excited? Nine days. Very, 
I gotta wait. So, right, th so this this moderator's meetup has literally turned into a nerds hangout because everybody's coming now. <laughs> yeah, I I'll be there in spirit, but oh, someone timed out Swifty. What the heck? Who? Oh, it was Nightbot. Oh wow. Yeah. Unlucky girl. <laughs> Fuck Nightbot. <laughs> Nightbot uh, got a bad attitude. Yeah. People hate that bot, to be fair. Um, so, majority of people are coming yeah. to this meetup. Yeah, there's quite a few of us now. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be so fun. What's the plan? Uh, so, Friday night, we... I So, I booked an Airbnb that's quite spacey. Uh, Friday night, we're getting a takeaway and playing games all night. So, we're going to have a bit of a games night, you know, break the ice a little bit. Uh, Saturday, we are going to an escape room. Uh, while the mods are going to escape room, the everyone else is going go karting. Um, and then later on that night, we're going to go out out on the town. We're going to go to a cocktail bar, and then we're oh. going to a karaoke booth. So this oh. booth is literally just for us. It's just going to be the group, and there's a screen, and like it's karaoke, and we're in there for two hours. Um, and then we're going to go and explain, uh, explain, <laughs> explore. <laughs> explore the rest of Newcastle's nightlife after that so nice. yeah it's all gonna be good fun and that then Sunday amazing. depending how hungover we all are uh, we might go to get a golf and we're 100% going for a Toby Carvery yeah I was gonna say you're gonna need like a good fry up of yeah. food after that night um, well, I learned last night that Destiny has never eaten a Yorkshire pudding so uh, this uh, is what sparked the Toby Carvery conversation and we are now going for a Toby Carvery. Yeah, and she's a chef. I know, side. right? How? How? She's not even here to defend herself, so she can't I say know. much. I know. We can't slay her. No. I love you, Destiny. We do. Um, I don't think there's any more questions. Okay. It, but that's it, I think. Um, for anyone who wants to um, follow you on your socials, what are they? My socials are pretty much, they are all my name. So it's it's Clarky, spelled with like four E's and an underscore. Oh. You can find me on everything like Thank that. you, Kat. I forgot to answer your question. Sorry. Uh, Kat said, what's the five things you couldn't live without? Okay. Um, my vape, my phone, uh, my dogs, music, and iced, iced coffee. <laughs> what's your dog's names? My dog's names are Coco and Kiki, and then, yeah, I've got, like, th there's a, a million and one dogs that I see at home when I go there, so Aww. my friend's dogs, too, and oh, I just love them all. They're so cute. Well, thank you so much for doing this. No, thank you for having me. I've really enjoyed it. Um, with that, everyone, that's the podcast episode done. Um, before you go, because I, I don't know if you want to do it on stream or off stream, but if you could just do, like... Um, Hey, this is Clarky. You're listening to Shay Spill's podcast. You could do it right now and it'd be okay. over. Hey guys, this is Clarky and you are listening to Shay Spill's podcast. And scene. That's it. <laughs> That's it, everyone. Thank you so much um, for listening in. Uh, this will come out on the podcast on... November 12th because I have a couple of other episodes um with that I'm gonna end the bot but if you guys still want to hear it I'm gonna be doing a couple of more indie views um today tomorrow and maybe a few more but tonight's interview other than Clarky is um a lady called that ginger girl Yes, I'm so excited for you. Um, I also got the vixen. Or, yes. yes, what tonight? No, um, maybe tomorrow. Oh. Okay, so we'll see. No, that's gonna um, be sick. Love yeah. it. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait. wait for that post. That 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 episode. I'm more excited for her episode than I am. I'm mine. nervous <laughs> though. I won't lie. I'm very nervous about it because um, she replied back to the email last night saying um. There's a couple of changes to the questions because she only plays the one game, which is Warzone. So yeah. um, I was trying to watch her streams, but they're only subscribed subscribers. But yeah, I watched um, a couple of other stuff on her. So 
Honestly, if I've got any words that I can say about Loza, it's that she is the most hype, gentle human being in, on the planet. Like, she's she's awesome. Have you played she'll... with her? I'm pretty sure you played yeah, with her. Yeah, yeah, I've played with her before. Um, I've I've been a supporter of her channel for, like, ten months now. So, yeah, she's... she's I just love her to bits. And, yeah, you'll really enjoy her company, I feel. You'll be fine. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, guys, don't... Don't forget, it was, today's stream has been sponsored by the Udi. Um, get that Udi. Get it, Udi. Get I it. You're, you're getting one on the way, aren't you? Oh, yes. Yes. I'm literally just waiting for payday and then I am ordering me one of them. Oh. I cannot wait for winter in that. Yeah, no, honestly, I'm, I'm roasting. You know? It's great, though. <laughs> I, I won't lie. It's great. Uh, this was yes. actually for my brother. <laughs> he still hasn't worn it yet. Cause... Oh. No, he doesn't want to put it on. I'm like, come on, I got you a nudie. You can wear yeah. it at least. But um, his girlfriend has one, so it's like you can be twins. Hell yeah! Pretty, but no. Um, thank you, cat, for those no, lovely words. Um, with that, thank you. Yo, thank you, thank you for having I me. I keep saying thank you, but um, if you guys want to stick, I might raid someone. I don't know who. Um. If anyone here also hasn't checked Clarky's stream out, which I presume you have, because if you haven't, there's something wrong with you. Not in a weird way, but if you want to check her out, <laughs> she's there. I know, I never heard of her too, Swifty. It's very strange. Um, so mad are you just mod for my channel, Swifty, and I've, I've never heard of you. Like, yeah. never heard of me or like, Pure yeah. strange. Yeah. Pure strange. Um, who is on Imagine. tonight? Is... What kind of game are you, do you want me to... Sh would I go for a war zone or would I go for something scary? Oh, let chat choose. Chat, you let pick. Chat do you want to pick war zone? Back for Blood, Little Nightmares, or Fortnite. Yeah, I bet you will and all swiftly. <laughs> you decide. Zombies? I don't have zombies. Oh, oh, the zombie one, you mean the... Back for Blood? Which actually only came out this week, I believe. Back for bl I, yeah, it's very recent. Yeah, because I saw the ads all week. Back for blood. Okay. We'll go to Donna Tart, who is an Irish drag queen. Let's um, go. <gasps> what? Mm-hmm. Also going to be on the podcast, which I'm looking forward to it. Um. <gasps> So we will read her. Um, she's out of drag at the moment, I think. Yes. Oh, but honestly, her makeup's good. amazing. Um, say hello. Um, thank you guys so much again. I will see you all very soon. And thank you for the new follows, I believe, as well. We are closer to 700 followers, which is unreal. Hi, guys. So Thanks say goodbye to Clarky. Out. Love you, Light. Bye. 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 Thank mm -hmm. you.